Hey there everybody, Destroyer X here, and welcome to part 34 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. When we last left off, well, we saved. There we go. Now we're gonna go back over here into that center room that the Heavy Troopa was guarding. And since we have Castle Key number one, we can get into the room! <laughs> so what will we find in that room? Will we find King and Queen Nimbus? Will we find treasure? Will we find Valentina and Dodo? What will, what lurks beyond that door? I don't know, but we better prepare ourselves for it. After all, this could be the fight of our lives! Or it could be the most epic rescue of our lives, I don't know. You be the judge! Because I don't want to be the judge right now. We're just going to go ahead and equip our items to the appropriate people because, well, Valentina and Dodo might kill us all. It is possible. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I'm so over level for this, it's not even funny. So, yeah. What, whatever, we, whatever we're going to run into, we'll be able to defeat. Any adversary, no problems at all. So let's enter the room. And we encounter a large egg. That's right. Um, in part 33, they mentioned the fact that there was a large egg in this room. And there's a shy away watering said egg. But the shy away has spotted us. Ha ha ha. Well, how about you just come over here and let me battle you. It won't open, it's locked. Well, you locked yourself in, you're stupid. But the egg just laughed. It laughed? I'm so lonely, will you play with me? Sure, why not? Thanks. That is a terrible voice. And it's boss battle time. We are battling Shelly. Shelly has 500 hit points, it has... It doesn't have any doesn't have any attack points. It has a defense of 80, magic attack of 0, magic defense of 0. Has a special defense against fear, poison, sleep, and mute, and it has no weak points. So basically we just have to keep pummeling the egg with anything. And all of a sudden, a birdo hatches out of the egg. It's the miracle of life. Actually, that's not good. Birdo has 777 hit points, has an attack of 160, defense of 130, magic attack of 6, and magic de magic defense of 100. It has a special defense against fire, fear, poison, sleep, and mute, and it has no weak point. So basically what happens now is just we just have to keep pummeling it. And what will happen is, um, as one of the um, one of the people in that room mentioned in part 33 said that if we were to guard, you know, against certain eggs, which is that egg bird right there, we can actually, you know, attack the egg. And that egg bird, it had 10 hit points, it had an attack of 210, defense of 0, magic attack of 0, magic defense of 0, and it had a special defense of fear, poison, sleep, and mute. There you go. That's all that needs to be said about egg bird. Basically what happens with Eggbert is if you damage Eggbert and destroy it, you can actually damage Birdo. But we can actually damage Birdo a lot more with our regular attacks, so oh well, who cares. But look at Bowser, our powerhouse. Ooh, oh. Ooh, I'm never gonna let you go. You're just too cute. That is a horrible voice. And that Birdo is gone. And we are victorious. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? We are RPG heroes! Yes, I stole a quote from Frank Omatic. And looks like Birdo sealed itself back inside Shelly. Don't begin about me! Uh, that's a terrible voice. But we have Castle Key number two now, so we can unlock that door. We can't battle the shy away. No matter how hard we try, we just cannot battle it. So we're just going to move on with our lives. Because, well, the plot is no longer in this room. So 
So yeah, we're just going to skip some random enemy battles be through the miracle of editing. Because that's what people do when we want to skip things. We edit out, you know, random ba enemy battles using video editors. Makes my life a lot easier. But let's go ahead and jump very carefully onto this treasure box. And we have a hidden treasure box right there with a frog coin. Uh, let's see, let's engage that enemy right there. Not too bad so far. And... King Nimbus is resting in bed. Absolutely no running in the halls! Queen Valentina. Usurper! 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 And of course, Mallow's ecstatic that his mom and dad are inside that room. But the door is locked. <laughs> of course, I don't know why. Well, I guess it locks. You can't open it from the inside either. But Bowser has a solution. He's going to break down the door. <laughs> He's gonna use his awesome power, his muscular might, to break down the door! Ha <laughs> ha! And here we go! But Mallow stops him, because... If my dad re- If my dad's really bedridden, we shouldn't make so much noise. We need another plan. I guess we should find Valentina and force the truth out of her. What truth? You already know what's going on. But what about the door? Listen, you! Never ever talk to the leader of the Koopa Troop like that! Ooh, I hate that! I'll ignore it this time, but don't let it happen again! Uh, that's not what Bowser sounds like, but oh well. Oh, the Shy Away caught up with us. And it flies very slowly. Usurper! Valentina is, an, is a usurper! Let's move right along, shall we? Let's show. <laughs> ah, so far, so good. And with that, let us go into the next room, where we see a heavy trooper blocking our path. Well, let's battle the heavy trooper. I left this battle in because we're going to show off some nifty features! <laughs> of course, that's not worth showing off, but the psych bomb is! <laughs> Hold hit Y repeatedly for a gigantic explosion that damages all enemies. But that's not all that we're going to show off. <laughs> no, 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 no. As a matter of fact, we're going to show off Bowser Crush and a giant Mecha Koopa just goes and pummels everything in its path. Sure, why not? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It, I think so. And we finally caught up to Valentina, Shy Away, and Dodo. <laughs> Well, Sim Smilax was weak, so there you go. Mario? What does a Mario look like? Well, it's, well, it has a bushy mustache, long sideburns, and a, a pair of mean-looking legs. Hmm, I have a feeling I've seen this Mario before. <laughs> Statues don't move. Wait, yes! It was that statue that Garo just delivered! And Shy Away is just panicking because of my raw, awesome power! <laughs> yes, I'm so, so awesome! Oh, great. We have to get another key? Oh, isn't that just lovely? Poopy, poopy, poopy. Of course, Dodo right now is trying to alert Valentina that Mario has arrived! Yes, I am Mario. 
and you are busted! And look at Mallow being all angry and stuff. And look at Mallow failing in life. <laughs> Too bad. How utterly rude, and who in places are you anyway? <laughs> and I don't remember what I gave, what voice I gave Mallow early in the game, but oh well. Brat! <laughs> oh man, I suck. And how dare you listen in on a private conversation! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm laughing because this voice sucks. Oh well. Hmm, if you're gonna be this rude, I'm simply <laughs> going to leave. Uh, I'm laughing at myself. That's pretty bad, but it's okay. Laughter is the best medicine, after all. So long, chumps. <laughs> uh, so, what do we do now? Well, they're gonna run away. And Dodo's gonna run away. So now we have to play catch-up. Shouldn't take us too long to play catch-up, though. Hmm, let's see. What am I doing in on the screen? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're switching characters, because we're awesome like that. Head into this room, and... There's a safe block! Am I ending the L this part so soon? No. No, 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 no. We're gonna keep on going! This is t a 27 minute video, so we're gonna keep on going! Yes! But oh well, doesn't matter. We're gonna skip random enemy battles because... Because I can. Ah, oh, I love the power of video editing. It makes my life a whole lot easier. Let's see, what's in here? Haha, <laughs> you all stand no chance against the power of video editing. And Gino reaches level 22. So let's see, I will give him a hit point bonus, and we're on our way. But soon we're gonna encounter something rather interesting. A hidden platform and a star! And we must rush, 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 rush. Yeah, and we just took out Dodo again. Yeah, that star wears off very quickly, so if we want to take out Dodo with the power of the star, we have to be very quick. Otherwise, we, we would have to battle Dodo on that screen. And on that particular occasion, Dodo had would, would have had 800 hit points, an attack of 140, defense of 100, a magic attack of 9, and a magic defense of 60. And it would have a special defense against Thunder, Sleep, and Mute, according to the Mar Mario Wiki, and Sleep and Mute, according to the strategy guide. And has a weak. It would have had a weak point against Jump, Fire, and, and Jump and Fire, according to the Mario Week Wiki, and Fire, according to the strategy guide. Yes, yeah, so I'm mentioning both the Mario Wiki and the strategy guide for simplicity's sake, because I don't know what's right, but it doesn't matter. I'm over leveled, so it's not going to be. It's not like it's, it's entirely difficult. So, there you go. Oh, yes. Ha ha ha. So, now we're about ready to prepare for our wonderful battle against Valentina and Dodo. Which shouldn't be quite a hoot, shouldn't it? But we gotta make sure we're adequately prepared, because if we're not, they may actually defeat us, and that would be bad. Hmm, but I think we are adequately prepared, so... Just go ahead and restore our flower points first, though. That should be enough. Yeah, I think so. 
but let's go ahead and do the old switch roo and put Bowser in position two. And off we go, back into the main part of Nimbus Land. And look at the townsfolk! Queen Valentina! Or Queen Valentina! Queen Valentina! Queen Valentina, is the king showing any improvement? And how's his wife, the old queen? I don't that's a terrible voice. And Toby, or Prince Mallow, where is he hiding these days? No, I think, I think, get out of here, the truth is, get out of here, the truth is, blah, 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 blah. no, but I think, I think, blah, 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 blah. Arg! Pipe down, all of you! I have better things to do than to listen to your half-wit opinions! And look why I've been wasting my time listening to your endless chatter! Mario has managed to find me! <laughs> Dodo! Dodo! Ooh, that bird has a permanent brain cramp! Dodo, do you hear me? Get over here now! I need some help entertaining Mario, so move it! Come here now! Boss battle time! So now we are engaging Valentina and Dodo in battle! So there's a particularly good reason why Bowser is in position number two. Because, well, at the beginning of the battle, Dodo will snatch the person in position number two, and you'll have to fight Dodo one on one. And if you lose in this particular battle against Dodo, the game is over. Dodo has 1,000 hit points, has an attack of 140, defense of 100, magic attack of 9, magic defense of 60, has a special defense against thunder, sleep, and mute according to the Mario Wiki because the strategy guide does not mention this third fight, and has a weak point against jump and fire according to the Mario Wiki and the strategy guide does not mention the third fight. But it doesn't take a whole lot of hits before Dodo you know, rejoins Valentina after a while. So now we're going to go into Valentina. Valentina has 2,000 hit points, has an attack of 120, defense of 80, magic attack of 80, magic defense of 60. She has a special defense against ice, fear, poison, sleep, and mute, and has no weak point. So, basically, what ha as you can see, each time you hit Valentina, she jiggles. Yeah, we'll just go with that. <laughs> Anyway, um, if we hit her enough times, eventually Dodo will rejoin Valentina, and it will be a three-on-three -three battle again. Same thing that would happen if you lost against Valentina with whoever's in positions one and three, position one always being Mario, then the game is over. But Dodo has rejoined Valentina, and Bowser has rejoined the power here. So now it's the two of the two against three, which means um. Well, those Dodo and Valentina versus Mario, Bowser, and Peach. The odds are in our favor. Dodo does attack with Flutter Hush, which if you do not have any items to prevent against mute attacks, then you will be muted, so you will not be able to use special attacks. Multi-Strike, it can potentially harm you if you're not careful, but, yeah, well. Valentina, she's a very avid magic user, so, um... Things like Water Blast, Drain Beam, yeah, you're going to have to watch out for those. Yeah, it's kind of funny that each time you hit Valentina, she shakes. It's crazy. Yeah, we'll just go with that. But yeah, um, basically Dodo, he's the brawn, and Valentina is, well, well, she's the magic user. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Although, their attack powers are not that far apart, it's just, and the same thing with their defensive power, they're not that far apart at all. So. Oh no, that means somebody's going to sleep, and it's Bowser. Because Mario and Peach are well protected. But some therapy should wake Bowser up. There we go. 
This battle would be, would be a lot harder if I wasn't so vastly overpowered. But I am overpowered. So, there you go. Doesn't take long before Valentina gives up. And noticing that she is outmatched, she and Dodo fly the coop. And we will never see them again. That's right, we will never see them again. Valentina is special in this is as being one of the few bosses that has their own battle sprite. Yeah, her overworld sprite is different than her battle sprite. But oh well. But yeah, Valentina and Dodo, they're gone. But they still have the key on them, so I guess Bowser's gonna have to break the door down after all. <laughs> it's time to show off the awesome might of Bowser. Oh yes. Well, that was anticlimactic. They just dropped the key. Okay. We'll go with that. We'll just go with it. It's an oversized key! Why are keys so oversized in this game? I don't know. But Mario's going to prepare for the tearful reunion by, well, using that umbrella. And while he is, well, basically getting, well, he didn't get rained on because he had the umbrella, I'm going to enjoy my Pepsi right here. And now we meet King and Queen Nimbus! I don't remember what voice I used for Mallow, so I am not going to imitate him. However, I am going to... I'm not going to imitate Queen Nimbus, but I'll Im imitate King Nimbus. I say, how can we ever thank you enough, my boy? I'm Mallow's father, King Nimbus, my boy! And there's Queen Nimbus talking, because I will not imitate her, so we'll just go with it. I could probably imitate it if I was using... If I, like, raised the pitch of my voice using, like, Gold Wave or Audacity. Ah, oh, I heard so much about you! May I have your autograph, my boy? I wonder what's for dinner? Oh, never mind. This piece is what true people's warriors strive for. And who is this gentleman here, my boy? I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart, my boy. You don't mean the Mario. Jumping Mario! Autograph, please! Come on, my boy! Give me his autograph! I command it! In accordance with royal th decree. Oh, I suppose that jump will work just as well. So yes, thank you very much, my boy. Bowser, leader of the Koopa Troop. He's the one that always tries to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. I remember him. I will eat him, <laughs> my boy. Not even a little scribble. Well, fine, whatever. I don't care. Yes, yes. I'm quite forgetting my manners. Well, who we have over here, my boy? You know. Oh yes, the doll. That's right. I remember now. You left your room when you were a baby. Mallow, go to your room and take that doll with you, my boy. And Queen Nimbus tells us about how a star fell into Barrel Volcano, but the Czar Dragon inhabits said volcano, so it might be a little bit difficult for us to get said star. However, it shouldn't be too hard. After all, we've done a pretty good job 
getting to a sizable level, and so I don't think we'll be having a whole lot of difficulty with it, in all honesty. So, yeah. And we also need to find Hanopio. He can help us out, potentially. Sure, why not? We'll go with that. We'll deal with Hanopio in a later part, because, um, I don't remember if I go to Barrel Volcano in Part 35. I'd like to say I don't. But, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I don't, though. Maybe in Part 36, I don't remember. I really don't remember. I should just, you know, start looking through my raws pretty soon. But let's go in here! We're gonna talk to this... Not Well, we've already talked to her, and we know about the hot springs now. But we're going to talk to him, and be Ooh, he's a guard now! Isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm. Although, with Bowser's might, we probably could have actually just break broke every door down. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... Oh, but the key works, too. Why not? But... For talking to the guard right here, we get ourselves something pretty nifty. What do we get? Well, we end up getting a flower jar. Yes! So that's not bad, not bad at all. You left your houses wide open. Well, everybody leaves their houses wide open. I don't know why people in RPGs leave their houses wide open, but sure, why not? Anyway, we have 88 flowers now. A maximum flower. We have a maximum of 88 flower points now. So that will help out quite lovely, quite nicely. But let's go over here and where this bird is. And you see how there used to be a, tre a treasure box here? Just jump, jump, and there we go! We got a hidden treasure box with a frog coin in it. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? There is only one hidden treasure box left. Only one. Isn't that incredible? And we won't encounter that treasure box for a good while, so we can relax for a while. Haha. <laughs> But anyway, we are running out of time, so check out my website if you haven't at www.ChristopherEastman.com. And I will see you all in part 35, so until then, take care and ciao for now.